we're going to use a form to get it into a ISR database. So let's start creating our ISR database. We'll create a new folder called services for our single ISR services. And I think I'll put it into something called data. So in data, we'll have a person dart, which is what we are saving. So I'll just have class person. Initially, it'll be blank, but we'll do this nice decorator from ISR collection. And ISR was automatically imported right there. ID ID equals ISR. Now we can use the ISR stuff auto increment to automatically assign the ID. And we will then do string uh, name, which is what we are going for. So ISR just uses a build runner. So we go person.g.dark. And it's red because this file does not exist right now. But we're going to attempt to do the build runner. So it's flutter pub run, uh, pub run build runner build. Let's see what happens. So theoretically, this thing should create the uh, this file, the missing file right there. And we are off and running. Okay, it's created. This thing has quite a bit of information in it. Uh, we're not going to edit it ourselves. So we need to create our ISER service now. So I'll call it ISER service. Class ISER service. And we're going to need to open the database. So let's create a uh, future ISR open DB. And we need to import it right there. Now we need to open the DB, but let's check to see whether the DB is already open. ISR dot instance names is empty and if it's empty let's open it up so isr dot open and then the schema the schema is a list so we this thing automatically created a schema here if you search there's a there's a person schema that's automatically created so we have this person schema for our collection and we'll just put it in here. Person schema. Make it async. And if not, we will return await isr dot get instance. And make this a future. Okay, we're, we're off and cooking here. Time of instantiation, let's start up our DB. Okay, so let's do a late ISR. db and db equals open db there we go okay
our data is pretty simple, right? We're just getting the name and then this ID here is for the auto increment. We've got our service. Let's see if we set it up properly. So we're going to start the service. Final ISR service equals ISR service. Let's import it. Okay. Okay, so you have this nice ISAR inspector. So I'm going to copy it. And the ISAR inspector, it has our class. Is this good? Uh, there's no data in it. So. Let's go ahead and put some data into it. So, how, so let's create um, a method here to insert the data. So we're going to get a person. This is a class that we just created, right? Like uh, right there. We'll call it person. And we are going to write KX transaction sync and persons. So this persons is was automatically generated there and we'll go put but we'll sync it so let's put it into the database and the thing we're putting in is right there so hopefully we run this method here and it'll be dropped right into the database So we've got our data and we will attempt to put it to the database. So ISR service dot add person and then we need to add the instantiated class, right? So it's person right there. And then we want to apply the name. So it's going to import it. name equals okay let's try it so Mickey Mouse we uh, submitted it and let's check it out I pressed it twice uh, and there's two Mickey Mouse. And let's go Donald Duck. Donald Duck. And maybe Luke Skywalker. Okay. We've got three people in here. We'll create another service to grab the data. So the first one was to add a person. We're going to make another one to grab a list of all the people.
Make sure the database, we have it. Persons, where we'll just grab all of them, find all. So to figure out the syntax, you can just go to the, the documentation. Um, but let's keep practicing. So let's create another button. map okay so we got all of them right there I'm gonna extract this out okay I'm gonna extract the full form form builder form okay let's go to our first button when it submits let's have a snack bar pop open so it's Scaffold messenger dot of and put the context in show snack bar and we have to build our snack bar but we just need the content which is Edit. Let's try it again. Ultraman. Edit Ultraman. Perfect. So to get all right row we'll create a variable to hold our results. I'm gonna call it all people. We'll sign all people. Then we will put out to the snack bar scaffold messenger dot o context show whoops not not that one show snack bar we need to build a snack bar snack bar content will be a text of all people okay see what we got here so 
looking good. Oh, Darth Vader. Wow. What an interesting cast of characters here. Yeah, looks good. All right, congratulations. Thanks for joining us and have a fantastic day.